Hey guys, thank you for your interest in my comic book cover pint glasses and thank you for your patience while I got this video together. This is my first time doing a how-to video like this, so hopefully it all works out well. The first step is to gather all your materials. Here's an example of the final product we're making. It's the pint glass with the sticker on it. So in order to start this project, you'll first need some blank pint glasses. I found these at Goodwill, a local thrift store. You can also order them online at Amazon. I'll throw in some links on the comments so that uh, you can find some of these products. The next thing you'll need is this vinyl sticker paper. If you have an inkjet printer, if you have a different kind of printer, you'll need special stickers for that, like for a laser jet or something. I have an inkjet printer, so this is what works for me. Make sure you get this glossy one uh, so you get that nice shine on there. Looks good. You'll need some alcohol to wipe down the glasses or clean them, something to rub the alcohol with this Mod Podge. We actually haven't tried ours through the dishwasher, but it says dishwasher safe gloss. It takes 28 days to cure if you read the bottle though. So make sure you don't dishwasher wash these before you've uh, let that cure completely. So we'll talk a little more about that later. So once you have all your materials, time to get started. All right guys, here is the next part of the tutorial is the most fun part. You gotta pick the images that you want to have on the cups. So I had my boyfriend pick his favorite comic book images and then I went ahead and did a Google search to find them, which is why I can't make them for you because I don't have any rights to the images themselves. So if you guys want me to make these for you and you have rights to certain images that you can send me, I'm happy to make them for you and sell them. I'm just going to show you how I did this. I just picked up, you know, Hulk 181, let's say, cover. And I went for images and I found an image that, you know, looked clear. Find a good one. This one's vibrant. And then you can just right click, save image as. And then we'll do the next part. All right, so once you have the pictures that you want saved onto your computer, you need to find a way to format them for easy printing. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. I'm on a PC, so I'm gonna show you how to do it for PC. And if you're on a Mac, you'll have to figure it out yourself or hopefully you already know how. The other thing is I just kind of made up the formatting. So you might even be more skilled than I am. And if you're not, you can just follow my sort of haphazard way of doing this, which is to guess how big um, they're going to be. I wanted to try and fill the whole cup. So I literally took a piece of paper and put it over a cup and thought, OK, it's going to be about that big. And then I used Google Slides, which I'll show you now. And in Google Slides, I just thought, OK, that's about the amount of the paper that I want to use. You can just go to slides.google.doc to get to Google Slides here. I'll show you how that works. Slides.google.doc, um, sign in, you'll sign in with your Google account, you'll add a new project, and then you can add a new slide here. You can choose, you know, if you want to have anything on it. I just chose a blank one, and then you can insert image upload from computer, and then you can pick the picture that you want. And then you can resize it for how big you want. So say you want it to be a little smaller. Say you got, you want a little shot glass one, probably won't work that well, but you could try it. You could make the little, a little bit smaller. If you want it to be a good pint glass size, you leave just a good chunk here at the bottom and you can fit about three across. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this facing that I already have. I'm going to go ahead and click on these and replace them with the new images that I want to use. Um, so I have Dr. Strange, new moon. you can edit these pictures. I found some that had different backgrounds and stuff on them and you can edit them in paint or whatever your preferred way of cropping a picture. You can even crop them here. You can see this one has a little bit of white space around it. So, you know, I can make that one a little bit bigger if I want it to fit a little better. And the Silver Surfer one came out a little bigger than I want it to be. So I'm going to just make that one a little bit smaller. All right, and then I'm going to go to print preview, print settings and preview and make sure it looks like how I want it to. And then I'm going to go ahead and print it onto a blank piece of paper first to make sure that it fits 
the cup in the right way. So I'm going to go ahead and print that and then I will show you how to print it onto the glossy paper. So once you have your cutout, you can take your glass and kind of just hold it up and see if it's going to fit the way that you want it to. There's probably an even better way to do these because of the shape of the glass. You could even crop the picture in a way that makes it so that it wraps around really nicely. I like the way this looks anyway, so you just decide what you want and make it how you want it. The next step, once you've decided that the, the this is the right shape and size, is you're going to print onto your glossy paper. So you're going to take one piece of paper out and put it into your printer feed. It's important not to stack the glossy paper because they can get stuck to each other and they can get stuck to the regular paper too. Once you're ready to put in your glossy paper, you're going to want to change the settings on your printer. So you go into your printer settings, you're going to want to use photo printing. I would suggest changing the print quality to high and then you want to make sure that it's marked for the right size paper here. I'm printing on this letter paper and you want to have the glossy on there. So there's like the different options. These are some of the ones that you might have and then you choose the right option. Once you've printed out your choices onto the glossy paper, you're going to set that aside and then let the ink dry a little bit. And while you're doing that, you can go ahead and clean your cups. The best way to do this is with a little bit of alcohol and uh, some napkins or something like that. You can be really careful if you want to grab like some gloves or something. You know that you're only going to be putting the sticker on one side though, so if you kind of pay attention to which part is the front, it shouldn't matter as much. So you're going to take your alcohol, your napkins or cotton or whatever you got. Cotton sometimes will like flake off, so you want even a napkin that won't leave residue and stuff on your cup. So you're going to go ahead and just put some alcohol on the napkin and wipe that down. Let it air dry. Maybe get a little more around the edges. This is a really important step because the sticker will not stay as well if you don't really clean the cup well. So clean your cups, let them air dry, um, and then go ahead and go back to cutting out your stickers. And this is the tricky part. So you cut really close and then you kind of have to find the edge there, the corner, and pull the backing off. So you can see if you get in there. Again, you can find some way to do this really carefully if you want. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to kind of turn the sticker in towards me so that I can get a nice smooth line. I'm going to make sure that it's about as straight across as I want it on the top. I'm going to gently place it, make sure that's kind of where I want it. And if it's looking pretty good, it looks pretty straight. I maybe want it down a little bit further, but it actually looks pretty good. There's still enough room for the lip here. And then I'm just going to gently, from the center out, make sure that it sticks well. You could take a piece of paper or something to kind of, if you don't want to, if you're worried about the ink, if it's still not dry, you can kind of take a piece of paper and push the sticker down better. So the next step is to add this dishwasher safe gloss. You can find some other kind of sealant or finish too. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on the cup. You'll want to repeat this process a couple times. It says two to three times. So these brushes you can find at Michael's or another craft store. They're super cheap. I think they work really well for this kind of project. So you just dip your brush a little bit. We're just going to cover the sticker. This will lock the ink in there. I'm going to make sure that I get just around the edges too because I want to make sure that this will help glue the sticker on too and keep it safe from the dishwasher. Hey, so thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you have fun making them and that they work out great for you. Good luck!